So you've never heard of Ren before? No, I ain't never heard of Ren. <laughs> All right, you guys. You know what time it is. Oh, what's up with the pig? <laughs> Hi, <laughs> Ren. <laughs> what is going down, world? Welcome to the 40-year-old FUQ Boys podcast. I go by the name Black Pegasus, and I have a very special guest in the house, my homie, Travis Lee. Now, you guys, Travis Lee is a country artist, rapper, all these different things. Say, what's up, fam? How you doing? What's up, y'all? Thanks for having me back, man. I always have a good time here. Yeah, man. We've done a couple of, of actually, we did one interview here um, probably like eight months ago. So Bro, it was so much fun. I still, I still relive it all the time. Yeah, man. It yeah. was dope. Uh, but uh, you hey, guys. Man, proud of you, man. Your success is great. These are really great videos. I've never seen this. It actually kind of reminds me of some old school uh, Juggalo stuff. So we'll see, what, we'll see what it's all about, man. Oh, see yeah. All about. See, he, he was in the Juggalo scene as well, weren't you? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Woo, woo. <laughs> Let's get it, you guys. Well, we're going to get today started, man. Um, I haven't done a high Ren reaction. I actually thought I ran out of people to introduce to Ren. Then I asked you, I was like, hey, have you ever heard of Ren? And you're Man. like, nah, so let's get it. Now, um, I'm rambling right now because this is actually my bro, bro, and we're actually business partners. We throw concerts together as well. We've been in the industry together, performing together, a bunch of different stuff. So there's a bond there. So I just want to give him his flowers now that we're here. And let's get this thing started, you guys. Uh, before we get started, like, share, and comment on all the content. If you rock with the vibe of the channel, subscribe. Here we go. Let's go. 40. 40 year old what, what? boys are back in town. 40. The boys are back in town. 40 year old what, what? boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. 40 year old FUQ Boys Podcast. Malt liquor for your ears. 40. All right, you guys, I'm going to get this logo down and pull the video up. Don't forget, we got original content on the channel, so support the originals. The same way you do these reactions, I have music videos, freestyles off the top, and we have dope interviews, a dope interview with Tech 9 Ren, a bunch of stuff on the channel, so support that, and we'll rock with this reaction. Also, BlackPegasusRap.com in the description for the new merch. We got the 40 merch and the freestyle off top merch, so let's get it. All right, man, now this is the heel, off the heels, me and him were at a baseball game last night, and he actually, uh, it was my daughter's first baseball game, and you've seen how she just loved it. Oh, she man. was all over the place. So did you stop at the gift shop and get her something? No, we, no, no. But <laughs> I, 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 got I you, my wife buys her so much stuff. She has, she got a new little mermaid yesterday. She's massively spoiled. So, but I will at the next baseball game, we'll get her a little something. So. Let's go. All right, you guys, we're going to get into this. Now, this is Ren. He's never heard of Ren. So I want to kind of preface this before we get it started. Um. You see this? See this? That's a microphone. He's mic'd up. This is mic'd up. This is actually a live performance. Okay. Okay. Now to do to see what we've seen, it had to be done in one take. So keep that in your mind. Now, when I say one take, they did it multiple times till they got the they got one right. right, and they had multiple cameras. But there's no editing. There's no cutting. There's no splicing. In well, video. there is editing because they used multiple cameras, but it was all in one performance one, take. Okay, gotcha. So um, I want you to keep that in mind as he performs. Um, listen to the lyrics, watch the background. Just the, the people want to see what you're thinking as this plays forward. I can pause whenever and we'll get into it. So, um, you guys, if y'all are ready, this is a uh, high Ren um, featuring my boy, Travis Lee. Let's go. I like you like your outfit. Who's outfit? The pig, the pig. Okay. That, that's hard. <laughs> that yeah. is crazy, right? Already. <sighs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
right off the top, his falsetto was perfect. Yeah. I mean, he's killing it right there. And okay. that guitar riff, he, he literally went from like um like uh like a Hispanic like type of vibe yeah. to almost like a grungy rock right back into like that same original vibe. That would that I mean hands down that was dope. Okay. Now you guys, this is coming from Travis Lee. Now I want to say this now because <laughs> what we got in here, he's never really done a this is your first time ever doing a reaction video, right? Yeah, ever. So he doesn't really know how it works and he's like, all right, man, if this guy sucks, I can tell you the truth, right? And I was like, yeah, man, just keep it authentic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was the very first words out of my mouth. I, I like, got a little nervous. I was like, oh, we'll see how this goes. If it's trash, man, can I, can I just speak uh -huh. it how it is? Let's go, man. This is just the beginning. <laughs> Been a little while, did you miss me? You thought you buried me, didn't you? Risky, cause I always come back. Deep down, you know that. Deep down, you know I'm always in periphery. Rant on your pleased to see me. It's been weeks since we spoke, bro. I know you need me. You're the sheep, I'm the shepherd. Not your place to lead me. Not your place to be biting off the hand that feeds me. Hi, Bran. I've been taking some time to be distant. I've been taking some time to be still. I've been taking some time to be by myself since my therapist told me I'm ill. And I've been making some progress lately. And I've learned some new coping skills So I haven't really needed you much, man I think we need to just step back and chill Ren, you sound more insane than I do You think that those doctors are really there to guide you? Been through this a million times Your civilian mind is so perfect to always be in lied to Okay, take another pill, boy Drown yourself in the sound of white noise Follow this ten-step program, rejoice All your problems will be gone Fucking dumb, boy Nah, mate this time is different, man, trust me I feel like things might be falling in place And my music's been kinda doing bits too Like I actually might do something great And when I'm gone, maybe I'll be remembered For doing something special with myself That's why I don't think that we should talk, man Cause when you're with me, it never seems to help You think that you can amputate me? I am you, you are me, you are I, I am we, we are one Split in two, that makes one, so you see You gotta kill you if you wanna kill me I'm not left over dinner, I'm not scraps on the side Oh, your music is thriving, delusional guy Where's your top ten hit? Where's your interview with Oprah? Where are your Grammys, Ren? Nowhere! Yeah, but my music's not commercial like that I never chase numbers, statistics or stats I never write hooks for the radio, they never even play me So why would I concern myself with that? But my music is really connecting And the people who find it, respect it And for me that's enough, cause this life's been tough So it gives me a purpose I can rest in Man, you sound so pretentious Ran, your music is so self-centered No one wants to hear another song about how much you hate yourself Trust me you should be so lucky Having me inside you to guide you, remind you To manage expectations, provide you perspective That thing you neglected, I get it You wanna be a big deal, next Jimi Hendrix, forget it Man, it's not like Oh, <laughs> it's dope But, you know, if you listen to his storyline mm -hmm. And you go back and forth and you listen to his split personality That he's describing himself We all face that every single day Facts Like, I'm listening to him And I don't know where he's from He's definitely not from the US But you listen to him And you... I'm, I'm sitting here listening to his struggle within himself. And I'm like, man, I feel, I feel exactly what he's saying. I, I have those same battles every single day. Yeah. You got this one that's like, like F it, jump off the bridge, go get it, go do this, go do that. You got the other one that's like, yo, you, there's no point. Just like, let it go. Like, yeah. you know, I, I need to do my own thing. I need to settle here. And then you got the other one that's like, yeah, it's just back and forth. There's a constant battle within. So it's really freaking, it's actually really entertaining. Hell yeah. That's tight. Man, it's just like that, I'm inside you, you twat No, it's not, man, you're wrong, when I write, I belong Let me break the fourth wall by acknowledging this song Ren sits down, has a stroke of genius He wants to write a song that was not done previous A battle with the subconscious, Eminem did it Played on guitar, Plan B did it Man, you're not original, you criminal rip off artist The pinnacle of your success is stealing other people's material Ren, mate, we've heard it all before Oh, uh, she sells seashells on the seashore Fuck you, I don't need you, I don't need to hear this Cause I'm fine by myself, I'm a genius And I will be great and I will make waves and I'll shake up the whole world beneath us That's right, speak your truth, your fucking god complex leaks out of you It's refreshing to ask for you, say it instead of downplay it uh, music is all about the creative process And if people can find something to relate to within that Then that's just a bonus Fuck you, I'm Ooh, a fucking- you hear how he rhymed that right there too? Yeah Yeah, he's, he's staying completely on point, you know um, I'm hoping that here a little bit more I get to hear a little bit more of his falsetto And actually his vocal range I yeah. really hope I get to hear that here soon So uh, I've been kind of anticipating it But we'll see what we get with this Yeah, and to respond to what you said earlier uh, He's from the UK 
Okay. So he's from the UK. Yeah. And, and by the end of the video, we'll have more combos and stuff. But I just want you, since this is the first time and it's a blind reaction, you just kind of absorb it. I don't want to, like, um, you know, like, spoiler, like me say something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, you know no, yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm ready. So. As for you, say it instead of downplay it. Uh, music is all about the creative process And if people can find something to relate to within that Then that's just a bonus Fuck you, I'ma fucking kill you, Ren Well, fucking kill me then, let's fucking have you, Ren I'ma do it, watch me prove it Who are you to doubt my music? Cause I call the shots, I choose if you die Yeah, I call the shots and so I choose who survives I'll tie you up in knots when I lock you inside <sighs> Newsflash I was created at the dawn of creation I am temptation I am the snake in Eden. I am the reason for treason. Beheading all kings. I am sin with no rhyme or reason. Son of the morning, Lucifer, Antichrist, father of lies. Mustopheles, truth in the blender, deceitful pretender, the banished avenger, the righteous surrender when standing in front of my solar eclipse. My name is stitched to your lips, so you see. I won't bow to the will of a mortal, feeble and normal. You wanna kill me? I'm eternal and mortal. I live in every decision that Lies chaos that causes division I live inside death for beginning of ends I am you, you are me, I am you, friend Hi, Ren I've been taking some time to be distant I've been taking some time to be still I've been taking some time to be by myself And I've spent half my life ill But just as sure as the tide starts turning Just as sure as the night has dawned Just as sure as the rain falls soon runs dry When you stand in an eye of a storm I was made to be tested and twisted I was made to be broken and beat I was made by his hand It's all part of his plan that I stand on my own two feet And you know me, my will is eternal and you know me, you've met me before Face to face with a beast I will rise from the east and I'll settle on the ocean floor And I go by many names also Some people know me as hope Some people know me as the voice that you hear when you loosen the noose on the rope And you know how I know that I'll prosper? Cause I stand here beside you today I have stood in the flames that cremated my brain And I didn't once flinch your shade So cower at the man I've become when I sing from the top of my lungs That I won't retire I'll stand in your fire Inspire that me to be strong And when I am gone I will rise In the music that I left behind Ferocious, persistent, immortal like you We're a coin to different sides When I was 17 years old, I shouted out into an empty room, into a blank canvas that I would defeat the forces of evil. And for the next 10 years of my life, I suffered the consequences with autoimmunity, illness, and psychosis. As I got older, I realized there were no real winners and there were no real losers in psychological warfare, but there were victims and there were students it wasn't David versus Goliath. It was a pendulum, eternally swaying from the dark to the light. And the more intensely that the light shone, the darker the shadow it cast. It was never really a battle for me to win. It was an eternal dance. And like a dance, the more rigid I became, the harder it got. The more I cursed my clumsy footsteps, the more I struggled. So I got older and I learned to relax and I learned to soften and that dance got easier. It is this eternal dance 
that separates human beings from angels, from demons, from gods. And I must not forget, we must not forget that we are human beings. There you go. There's your introduction to Ren. What do you think? He's talented. He's very talented. Uh, <clears throat> he's nasty on the guitar. Guitar's filthy. And he's got a great vocal range, too, because, you know, being a, a singer and a musician and even a, a, a talent buyer and being in the industry as long as I have, you know, I've seen a lot of the same stuff over and over and over. You know, everybody raps fast. You know, everybody raps slow. And so it's nice to see how he kind of split his personality up. He changed his uh, vocal range to fit whatever personality he was using at the time. Yeah. And then if you notice when the second, we'll call it the second portion came in, he started it just like he did the first portion, but he made it more darker to fit that person's perspective or that personality's perspective. Yeah. And, um, and then I'm, I'm glad I got a little bit of a taste of his vocal range at the end when he's saying, yeah, you know, I mean, he's uh, he's dope. There was um, I'm gonna be interested to check out some more material from him. And then the message too at the end. I mean, it's kind of like, hey, you're you're human beings, you know. Don't take things so hard. Yeah, you know, like he said, at 17, he scream he screamed out into an empty building, and he dealt with that for the next 10 years. Yeah, and he might be a little hard on himself when he thinks that all of us do to that, or that could just be a metaphor. Yeah, and. And now that we're where we're at, I wanted to let it play out because it is a metaphor. So he got Lyme disease and it was misdiagnosed and because the misdiagnosis, the medication kind of made him go psychologically like all over. And then they started diagnosing it properly. But a lot of this comes from the pain of going through that. And, you know, that conversation with yourself, like back and forth, like trying to make it through um, these episodes and, you know, having like a very severe disease like Lyme disease. So, yeah, um, you know, I believe that metaphor is like, hey, this is, you know, because he says um, autoimmune psychosis, you know, and he's talking mm -hmm. about that autoimmune disease where it's like it showed up and then it got very aggressive. And um, he's lucky to be alive. Yes. Lyme disease kills people. Yes. I mean, all the time. Um yeah, no, I mean his. Uh, I had no, I had no idea that that was the actual journey, and so it's um, it's interesting to see how he um, gave the message to the listener and his own perspective of it without even saying, "Well, this is the situation and this is what took place." You, he did it in a way that allows you to be able to relate to what he is saying in your own form, yeah, formality. And that's why when I said he's got two personalities and I'm sitting here listening to it and I struggle with it every day as well. Yeah, I took him talking about his music. Because uh -huh. he talked about his music and about how um, about how one portion was like, nah, hey, the other one's like, yes, yeah, you're not good enough, and they're like, no, I'm get, I'm, I'm a genius. Yes, but if you if you if you add that to your life, you can add it and apply that to any part of your life. Sure, you know, it's like uh, I think a lot of us we have a lot of self doubt, and he's saying that that part of you were the self doubt, and then you have that other part of you where you're like, man, I can do this. It's just taking that first step forward to do it then the message at the end allows you to say, Hey, look at he's overcame all of the different sides of his personality. And, and, and it took him 10 years to be able to get to where he's at now. I think he's feeling a lot more comfortable with his mental health. Yeah. Well, um, and it, it's interesting how he ended it. Cause originally that, that spoken word piece at the end wasn't in this song. Initially, he just had like this moment. He was at a beach and he wrote that and then and he added it. And it's, it's really cool how it all it brings everything together because there's hope at the end instead of disparity. Yeah. And um, yeah, man, he's on his way, bro. Like, let's talk about this video real quick. Let's do it. I mean, being a person who's been in the music industry as long as I have, you've seen a lot of videos. Uh -huh. And one of the hardest things to do is finding the right background for your video. Uh -huh. um, the right the right whole everything, the right reel, the right plot, you know, like the right script, everything. He kept this so simple. He found a busted down dilapidated room. You got bricks on the right. The rest of the room has paint peeling off of it. You see a cross on the left that could just be part of the trim, but it still, it plays a part with what he's talking about with David and Goliath, everything else. 
Then you see the lights. And I don't know if I'm sure you noticed, but when he switched into that second part, the whole room darkened and then the lights flashed, but they flashed not simultaneously, but off beat uh, offset with each other. So it created a strobe effect, but also gave the effect of darkness in there. And, you know, I want to give him credit on that because he did the whole thing in a wheelchair. And then at the end, if you look, his, his gown that he's wearing is tied with the cord from his guitar. Ah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know if that was meant to be because he's got a pack back there or not. But at the end of the time, too, to me, when I look at that, it's kind of like that music piece that's holding him together. Yeah. You know? So anyways, um, the video itself and the clarity of the video, like you got up there at the top right to the right of his head. You can barely see it right now. There's light flares in there, you know, and they did that perfectly with their lenses, you know? Mm. And then when they switched into the close up, he wasn't looking at the camera. He was looking at the camera that he's on right now. So it didn't give the perspective that he was talking to us. He was giving the perspective. He was still talking at just a different angle, but he was so involved with it that he had veins popping out the side of his head. Yeah. You know, yeah. and I mean, that right there is just it's pure passion. So I give him credit for his video. It's crazy, too, because I wasn't sure if you caught that because some of the things you were speaking of, you're a bit, but that was super dope. Like, I mean, you caught everything that, for the most part, that's there to be catched. And when you say the veins popping out, he's doing this acting performance. I had DJ Chevy on here, and, um, and, and, and J- it, Chevy was like, yo, he reminds me of, like, Jim Carrey. You know, like, blah, 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 like mm-hmm. that real animated, you know. And so you're you're seeing multiple things. You're seeing a performance. You're seeing acting. And there's this back and forth. There's a performance being presented by the camera people as well. Oh, 100%. You know? I mean, so when the you light watch, people, he's all spitting. these things. He's got saliva coming out of his mouth. He's got saliva building up on his lips. Like, he is very in tune with what he is doing. I'm, I'm curious to see how many takes it took him to get it right. So for this one. Man, I we did an interview. Um, oh, you and, and this I, dude did? Yeah, yeah, I got him on the channel. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. so like, um, he's super cool. Kind of gave the olive branch. Um, he's really in or in in tune with the reaction space and lifting people up. But um, I I want to say it was uh three t- three takes for this one. So there's he did he, it in three takes. So the story is he has this song called Money Game where he did a similar performance and it's just it's wild and it, I think it took him like. 170 or 180 that takes. realistic, yeah. But they've, they've dialed things in. He's just getting better and better, okay. you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah. I was going to say 20 or 30, but, like, if he did that in three t- takes, my hat's off to him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And one more thing about this artist. His, again, his vocal range. I feel like the U.K. and the U.S. have a different uh, delivery style with sure. their lyrics. Sure, You know, I feel like he's got great metaphors and he's got great punchlines, but, you know, I, I do feel like the U.S. does trump the UK when it comes to lyricism, like we we wrote the book on it. Oh yeah, like when you're saying like, is there any UK rapper who's rapped at the level of Eminem or something like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, like exactly. lyricism. Like, yeah, because you know he mentions Eminem for one, but yes, like lyricism wise, the way that we deliver and we actually give the content to our listeners, Eminem, you can't compare him to anybody because every time I hear an Eminem song, I hear it a thousand times, and every time I hear something different, I'm like, yeah. oh man. But what I was gonna get at is is. He's so Americans or maybe you know, a lot of Americans, when we hear the accents, a lot of the times we get turned off yeah. automatically because we're not used to it. Sure. You know, uh, but when you hear his singing, it's captive, you know, like his his vocal range is actually very impressive when he's doing those high notes. Those, yeah, you know, those are really those are really high. And he, he has more to go. Vocal range is about being able to go up to the top. But allowing the listener to think that you have a lot more to go and he does have a lot more to go. So when I hear that, I'm actually interested in hoping that I hear more of that rather than his straight rapping. I get the message on this one, but yeah. I'm hoping he has a lot of content with that because he's very, very good at it, man. It's interesting because I was in the vibe to put you. Okay. First and foremost, because of YouTube, I'm going down the rabbit hole of UK rappers and they're a lot more lyrical than I anticipated. Right. They are they are nice. However, I haven't seen anyone trump the uh, the 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 uh, the Eminems yet. You know, there's some dudes who are pretty nice though, pretty ill. Um, so I want to give the UK that. But damn, now you got me effed up because I he just dropped this new joint called Murderer, but it's kind of rappy. 
but I want to show you the layers of his, and, and he, I, I have some singing stuff I can put you in front of oh, as let's well. Let's hear this. Let's see. So do you want to hear some singing stuff? What do you feel? Because you said you want to hear more of his vocal range. I do want to hear more of his vocal I'm very So like Ed Sheeran, for example. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I said that right. But anyways, he's got an amazing vocal range. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's kind of like, uh, uh, it's just something that not everybody is great at. Yeah. You know? So yeah, I do want to hear it, but I'm, you know, you got this. Let's, let's, let's do this, this one and then I'll find a singing one. We'll yeah, end with a singing one. Let's go. Here we go, you guys. Um, originally, you guys, I was going to do Ren, this one, and then the acoustic version, but I think I'm going to flip the acoustic version to something so he can hear more of his vocal range. All right, man, this just dropped. Shout out to Ren. He's doing a rollout for his first hip-hop album ever, and um, it's called Sick Boy. So, um, yo, this just dropped for the most part, um, and I, I wanted to put him in front of it. So here we go. Let's go. If you catch me alone, you better stay on my zone because I'm ready to kill. I'll sit on my throne, made the bodies and bones because I'm mentally ill. I'm feeling alive, I got the will to survive, so never test my skill. For goodness sake, man, I'm ready to break, man. Murder roll, homie, it's the way that I get down. Murder roll, if you see me on the corner of my town, get back, back, back. Murder roll, swing through your door in the first round. Shameless, fighting out in Brighton with the neighbors. Brother, I should wonder what my name is. I was born famous, trend set to heart step of greatest. Shocking like a finger in the anus. I was born wasted, stoned out my brain, brother faded. Right and catchy syllables, contagious. I was born courageous, naked and fucking outrageous. With a microphone, I rock stages. I jump on the rhythm of rhyme and cyclone. And I pull his caliber right out the song. King Punk, the precision that hits like Stallone. Rocky, keep it cocky, I'll be Al Capone. I walk alone, sit on the author's throne. And if you want it, I'll deny it like a mortgage loan Your daughter's home, we'll be staying home alone Condone the bone and eat it like a Toblerone, bitch If you catch me alone, you better stay on my zone Because I'm ready to kill I'll sit on my throne, made the body some bones Because I'm mentally ill I'm feeling alive, i got the will to survive So never test my skill For goodness sake, man, I'm ready to brain, man Murderer, homie, it's the way that I get down Take two. I think they did some cuts, like when he went through the door. Yeah, but like he, right he is known for one takes. Like he has some cra- bro. Those videos are hot. Yo, they are. Yeah, and I, so <laughs> I have to make a, uh, a an observation here. I don't know if y'all like seeing like a lot of movies that come from the UK. Did uh-huh. they all dress like this? <laughs> Yo, I know he kind of has the Peaky Blinders type of haircut like thing going yeah, on. Yeah, and then the Nike jumpsuit, like yeah, the yeah. 1980 look, 1990 nah. jumpsuit. I feel like this is his thing. He's like into the 90s, so he always is he wears like starter jackets and stuff oh, like yeah. that. So this <laughs> yeah. is his thing. But yeah, I do you sometimes you do see that. Uh um what was I going to say? Yo, he makes his own beats. Oh, cause I was gonna actually comment about that. His beats are tight. Yeah. 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 If you see me on the corner of my town, get back, back, back. Murderer, swing for your toe in the first round. The top, top, top. Murderer, homie, it's the way that I get down. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The bigger they come, the bigger they fall. The trigger the gun, I'm clipping them all. Like eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I line them up against the wall. I don't mean that I fought curly lyrical bullets. I mean actually fucking kill them. Squeeze the trigger and pull it. Blood splat, how's it going, lad? Fans are flowing, my trust that I'm a pro with that. Seeds are snowing, bad boy. I'm an addict, volcanic, a man is twisted, the manic, the rhymes are gifted, god damn it. I push the button, we panic. Breathe, I seize the land, sky in the seas, it's easy. See me freestyle freely. What man, yes, I came to rock, man. Drop it like it's hot, fam. Wearing clothes on marks, fam. God damn, I am a blood sucking titan. From the streets of Brighton, hit you with my right hand, sucker. If you catch me alone, you better stay on my zone because I'm ready to kill. On my throne, made the bodies and bones because I'm mentally ill. I'm feeling alive, I got the will to survive, so never test my skill. For goodness sake, man, I'm ready to break, man. Murderer, homie, it's the way that I get down. Murderer, if you see me on the corner of my town, get back, back, back. Murderer, swing for your door in the first round. So I did notice that there's the pig there, but. Who got out of the car and started walking down the road? Did you see that? Or am I tripping? Uh, your Ren did, right? Yeah, but I thought there was two of them that got down the car. 
maybe the cameraman or maybe you're just seeing because I think they it could they, have been somebody's walking on the street. Yeah, because they just did this in real time. Okay, they, yeah, because the pig was all of a sudden in the rear view mirror, but then he was gone. So like it totally threw me for a loop. I was like, where did the pig go? <laughs> there he is. What's crazy as hell is imagine if you were just on the street and you just seen this. Oh, you'd see the camera and be like, oh, they're making a film. Because I'd be like, yo, what are you doing to that dude? You know what I'm saying? If you didn't see you the want camera, a hand? he's just like, oh. Like, you're like, yo, son. Oh, homie, it's the way that I get down. Boy. Yeah, and yeah, that's why I wanted to play because it's just a banger, bro. I, I, I no, actually, I'm probably gonna download you. that one and bang it in the vet when I. And, and that's some because I know you're into working out. You feel like you could fight like or work out too. It's just like yeah. it's a banger, bro. Man, and he he list. got he got the new Corvette. Imagine bumping this and that. Oh, ah, bro, you're, you're like, like bro. you know, <laughs> hey, you know what I mean? All right, man. Let's do let's one go. more and ride off into the sunset. Now you want to hear his vocal range? I do. Yeah. I'm interested because that murderer, that dude yeah. is hard. Now, we are recording right now, you guys. If for some reason, because I'm clicking buttons, it cuts off, we'll just upload this last one. But um, I'm like, what? Okay. Because this dude has some range. So I'm just going to keep it a buck. What do you feel like hearing? Like, what range? Like, if he went, for, if he could do, like, let's say, like, some reggae Give or, like, ballad? some rock. Or... I don't know what he's capable of. So, like, if he's got a ballad. If he's got, um, oh man, like I, I can see how he's got raw. I, I don't know. I just want to see what he's capable of. To be honest, have you ever heard of the term busking? Uh uh-uh. oh. <laughs> what do you think busking sounds means? sexual, man? I don't even know how long I'm involved <laughs> in the conversation. Son, though, son, you know what I'm saying? Yo, son, yo, <laughs> yo, this fool's a busker. <laughs> hey, yo, uh, nah, let me Google this one first. Dude. Nah, I guess it's a common term in America. Why everyone I bring on the channel doesn't know? Because I didn't know either, and they were dragging me in the chat. But busking is just a street performance. Okay, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it, you know. I'm sure we've seen it in New Orleans, New York, I dated this LA. chick all the time. I was really good at busking, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you like busking it back. Uh, anyways, you guys, uh, let's get back. Um, man, because he does a lot of busking. That's what I was going to say. And I was like, I could pull up a joint where there's... So, just- like, sorry to interrupt you, but like on that one right there, like when he was doing his hook, mm-hmm. you know, he's very clean. His, his vocals are very clean. And um, you can hear a little bit of the vibrato in there. Yeah. Um, especially when he says the murderer part. Yeah. And then, um, you know, and then it's very melodic. Hand in the man, the man, the man, the man, the murderer. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like it, it was, it was, it was dope. So I'd like to see more of that to see what he's capable of. Um, and that's why I asked if he had a ballad. Yeah. Now, I don't know, like, cause I don't even know what like definition, like what is, like when I think of the definition of a ballad, you know, I'm thinking of power ballads like by like like Journey or something like, you know what I mean? Yeah, or, any sort of ballad. Um, so like just more vocal, less production in the background. Yeah. Um, something that's, um, you know, that speaks uh, and resonates to the listener. It's more like uh, maybe like a little depressive, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, got you. Now, um, I want to pull up what I want to do is him busking. Um. Because I feel like we get, hopefully this doesn't cut off, y'all. But if it does, you know what it is. Uh, Why your shit always cutting off? Dude? No, it's just because sometimes when you type, it sends it something there that will stop it. And uh, it's not supposed to, but right. it happens. I think we should do something from the big push. Because they're performing outside and you're able to, uh, to kind of hear that rawness in them performing. You know what I mean? But it's like we can go from like reggae to like literally Black Sabbath. That's the range he has, which is crazy. But I think the one to go with. I I shot the sheriff. Yeah, I think that's the one to go go with. And you can see another side of this brother and we'll ride off into the sunset. Now, is he in shape or is he just skinny? Nah, he in shape. Okay. (laughs) All right. Props, because I know how hard it is to maintain your body. Like, Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I think... So he's actually going to treatments in, so he's a lot of, th- bro, remember when Hobson started to blow up and we were kind of there right on the pulse seeing yeah. it happen? That's what's happening for him right now. He just got a million subscribers. Everything is just growing. It's just crazy. But um, he's been able to go to Canada and get special treatment for his Lyme disease and it's really helping right now. I told him about stem cells as well because I think that will help push, 
push to his autoimmune where it needs to be. That's a whole nother conversation. But physically, he's doing a lot better right now. So he's been traveling. He's not I mean, really touring or anything. if he's doing all of that and he's also staying physically fit and yeah. in the gym, eating healthy... I mean, he's in his zone right now. Yeah. Well, and staying physical, physically fit and on your diet is a big part of helping curate your health, your auto. So, like, that's going to be helpful for his Lyme disease. Yeah. So, it's something that he almost has to do um, because not many people are aware of that. But working out, diet, all that stuff is going to affect you and know. it's hard to do, especially if you're traveling all the time, doing videos. It's so easy to be like, yo, I'm hungry. Go grab me Wendy's. You know, yeah, like, yeah. so props to him for that. Yeah, hell yeah. All right, here we go, you guys. This is uh, Travis Lee, first time blind reaction. We're going to check out the big push. I shot the sheriff, road design, hip hop. <laughs> So many karaoke bands and uh -huh. tri uh, uh, tribute bands butcher this song. Yeah, you know it's like kind of like hearing the Eagles on, on like a bad tribute band. Yeah, um, that yeah, his vocal range is nice, but I would I would hope to one day hear a lot of his own original stuff. Yeah, well that's well this is what I'm saying. I was just playing this busking. If that's the case, I'm gonna pull up something original then. Yeah, do that because I'm automatically already like, oh, okay, well. You know, it's uh, I've heard this song a billion times, but gotcha. nobody does it like the original. All right, hopefully this doesn't cut off, y'all. Let's um, man, I don't. It's so weird because I'm really on the spot right here. And no disrespect to the artist, like he's got great range, but it's just is a bad choice for, of song for me. For right you, now. covers don't show the range. Yeah, I want to see what she's you capable of. You and it's like, it. yeah, sometimes you could remake stuff. Like Morgan Wallen just got done do, doing "Cover Me Up." He does it better than the original. You know what I'm saying? But I think all of us are used to hearing that song as the original. Yeah. So I don't want to cry, man. Damn it. I got something for you. Well, I want to see you cry. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, nah. Hold on, hold on. We're going. I, it's, a, it's a dedication. He's playing the piano. Oh, bro, I love the piano. Do it. And it's all original. He mashed up his own joints. All right, please do it. Yeah, let's joint. go. Now, this, I'm just going to preface it because... It's just out of respect. So, um, and I love just so you know, it's one of my favorite instruments ever is the uh, piano. All right. So, this is for his brother, man, Joe. And you could relate to this, Joe. Um, you to, to not get flagged on YouTube, Joe passed away because of his own doing, okay. if you understand Actually, what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Um, now th the story goes that they believe it was an accident, you know on top of a bridge on a windy night. And I believe he contacts some of the friends like, Hey, I'm feeling this way. And, you know, I believe they wanted to go save him. And they believe that, you know, because of the it weather, late, yeah. it, you know, he might've accidentally fallen off in the state he was in. 
um, brother man got, uh, you know, washed away. It, it, so anyways, um, that's kind of the story to preface this. It's a big part of his life. But um, um, yeah, this is emotional. There's a lot here. and um, Yeah, play it. All right, here we go. This is original, all original. All right, cool. <sighs> Live performance, one take. Is this Europe? This is in Canada, I believe. It's Canada, okay. Take off from the ground when your wings are cut Your stomach burns when you're drinking from an empty cup You know the entire ocean came from my tear ducts I see the world through Fibonacci sequences and double dutch I guess there's some that's born lucky, there's some that's not I tried to cut away my bitterness, hatchet job I locked my youth inside the trunk, inside the pickup truck Then dumped that whole thing over that same bridge the night you jumped oh, bro, I think about that sometimes He's right there He said the whole ocean is built from our tear ducts saying he he starts talking about uh butcher and stuff and then it's a hatchet job i'm like he's spitting right there yeah. and when he came out in the beginning i mean it was beautiful it's almost like opera yeah. i forget how much he sings in this so hopefully i didn't next yeah i was like i'm up. sitting here listening it's like why didn't you start with this one dog yeah no no this is good this is great <laughs> it's, it's bro he has so much content you know what i'm saying right, check him out so Vividly, what it felt like to look down and see tranquility. One sudden movement in a world of possibility. Only one movement to expose our fragility. I fucking miss you, and I miss myself. I miss thinking we were indestructible as hell. I miss chilling by the pier cave and kicking back with Callum Hugo, Justin Sega, Stevie, and the fucking lads. I miss missing that. I numb myself to close the gap. I never even call them up. Distance is my plaster cast to tell the truth. The day you jumped, my childhood jumped too. But I still can't find the angle. All I find is missing you, man. I miss you. With all my rhymes, I picture running five minutes quicker, I'm right on time I picture pulling you back over the edge and then we're crying And holding you my brother and telling you that it's fine Not the way that it worked, I was late like a jerk There's not a day where I can find a way to break from the hurt Your body missing so we never got to wave to the hearse I hope you're listening, I love you man, I miss you absurd fuck the way another's born how you're supposed to raise a child and give it courage from a storm in a world that is confusing contradictions pave our flaws some will say we're only human others judge us for our flaws some get born in sheets of satin some get by in tattered clothes some will die before they live that's just how the story goes but for those of us still with us who reside inside our hearts tell them proudly how you feel and for those of us who aren't Freckled angels stand strong, freckled angels live on Freckled angels climb higher, freckled angels still inspire Freckled angels won't forget you, teach me to live my life better Thirteen years and still I miss you, now my wings are missing feather Otherwise I'd come and join you, but for now I'm here on earth Stuck inside this mortal body, but for everything it's worth Made me braver, made me wiser, made me stronger, made me true Made me face the world with courage, and that's all because of you Freckled angels laugh the hardest 
and their hearts they are the largest with their wings they fly the farthest so i know you're gonna be okay freckled angels live the longest and their minds they are the strongest oh their friends they are the fondest so i know you're gonna be okay damn yeah i see why you want to cry man yeah it's just powerful um i'm tripping though typically i try to end these but i'm am tripping i don't know why i forgot about this so let's just because this is a ballad bro i'm pretty sure the people are going to roast me. One, two, Tell me three. as you watch this. Oh, 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 feel safe in this bed there are voices in my head i've been talking to the dead and the fear baptized me my kingdom turned to dust and i watched all my riches rust have I lost the Midas touch? Or do sad eyes blind me? Over and over we go Over the hills and the valleys below Oh, and it follows me, follows me home And it suffocates me Oh, she's got a beautiful voice. Chinchilla? Yeah, she's banging. Yeah. Yeah, she's killing it. So, um, yeah, I just, I don't Total know. Ballad. I don't know why this, uh, there's so much stuff. Sometimes I just blank out. But I was like, you wanted to hear range. And then I, that last one, I thought he sang more in it. And I think I'm confusing it from the original because it's kind of a mashup. And there's a song, Freckled Angels. And I thought he sang more in that last one. So I was like, dude, the dude has massive range. Listening to, uh, he, yeah, hit play. Oh, I can't breathe I said, oh, I can't breathe All I know Is I forgot how to be me Feel safe in these holes. There are bruises on the walls. There are bodies in the floors, and they breathe so loudly. I wish I could move, get up and walk right out this tomb. Do our saviors die too soon? For my sins surround me Over and over we go Over the hills and the valleys below Oh, and it follows me, follows me, follows me follows me, follows me suffocates me For him to be able to keep up next to her and her not take the whole show is impressive. She is, she's crushing it. 
but so was he. I mean, I think a lot of his thing is is he is so in tune with the stuff that he wrote that it's hard not to pay attention to him because he's so passionate about it. And then his range is phenomenal here. Like when they went down low, in the valley below, yep. you know, like, and then they went off beat, but they were just one measure off. So she was repeating what he was saying, but off measure, it was perfect. You know what I'm saying? And again, for him to be able to use his voice next to her, cause she has, she hasn't even broken the seal on what she's capable of yet in this song. But for her to do, for him to keep up with her is very impressive for anybody who is a singer and that is involved in singing listening to these two together would know that like that he, he's very talented at what he does when it comes to his voice. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, essentially, you know, this ties into, that's why it hit me. Like as we were watching the for Joe one, because this is, uh, um, this is in reference to him as well. Like Joe, it had a big impact kind of, um, kind of like the homies we've lost, you know, like, you, you know, we've all done songs for our homies that have passed away. And um, it's it's just no. Oh, you listen to this though. It's yeah. this is a total ballad. I mean, it's it's a song that captivates the listener and that you can really relate to when you talk about the valleys below stuck in the hole and and you know they're 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 following him home and there's just so many powerful references that you're just like man yeah like literally I could listen to this on a de- depressed day in the rain and it just. You're just like, whoa, shit. Yeah, like cleanses you. It's it's crazy because this song, I reacted to it for the first time with my partner, Don. And I low-key had like, because the lyrics had touched me so much and I was going through something personal in my life with my wife, I literally had a breakdown during the reaction. I haven't even released it because I'm like, uh, it, I was like very, very vulnerable, like more vulnerable than I've ever been on a reaction. And it's just what real art will do to you. It makes you feel emotion and makes you feel something again. So on the topic of real art, I don't know if there's a lot of people out there that actually can appreciate real art, but if they've gone to an art museum, it's there's paintings that you walk by and you're like, that's cool. And then there's other paintings that you sit there and you could stare at for an hour and you don't know why you're sitting there staring at it, but every little detail you can, you can just picture it in your mind. And it's the same thing that he's doing with his pen and this guitar and his vocals and her. And, and again, just the duo together is, it's really phenomenal. I actually, I wouldn't want to sing what he is doing with her on there. Yeah. I would definitely would not pick this song. Yeah. She is impressive. Yeah. But him, he's impressive too. Hit play, man. Let's, let's see, let's see how they finish this out. What I was going to say, that's what it was. Women have an easier way of hitting those high notes. So if you see how she is very clean with it, those when she has her vibrato in there and the hallelujahs and the very high pitched tone, and she can step her range up yeah. like it's nothing. Men have a very, very hard time doing that. Yeah. That's why it's a falsetto. It's a false voice that we have to create. When he's doing his hallelujahs, he is actually in a, he's past his high head. He's into a falsetto that is very clean and it's it 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 matches the pitch and the color of it is very very perfect and so i just want to give him props because what she is doing is more natural for a woman to do what he is doing takes real talent real practice and real dedication i'm sure when he gets up in the morning and he's getting ready for his day he's sitting there exercising his vocal cords and his vocal range yeah and so i want to give him props to that because his his hallelujahs when when you when you go and you try to and you're singing in your car, mm-hmm. I encourage anybody to try and bring out their falsetto and you'll find certain notes those you know yeah. like you'll find those certain notes that are easier to do find those and see how high you can go yeah and because it starts you, cracking when you start ah, like you're just exactly like, ah, they like start cracking cracks. so he's a hallelujah yeah. you know what I'm saying yeah. like. That's that's high for me. That's a very high range for me. And he does it exponentially. And then he not only goes from the hallelujah. 
together to the yeah, like just super grungy, but it just it just mashes so perfectly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Props. When he gave up the fight, a quick decision lay in the night that stayed with me for all of my life. I miss you so. Damn. Props to that dude. Yeah, again, another great video. His videos, they captivate you in ways that uh, that it's like watching a movie, you know, and the storyline. And, I, you know, me being involved in the music industry and appreciating pure raw talent, I mean, I've heard so much BS over the years that it takes a lot for me to go, that's dope. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And this dude is actually some very raw talent. And for him to be, he's he's battled mental health significantly and it yeah. might be because of his physical health and everything else that's going on but for the fact that he has battled it and he is doing what he has to do to release that energy that is that we talked about things like that last on the podcast yeah. he's building tools for himself yep. but his tools heal others yeah and um yo shout out to this dude nothing but respect Volker range is phenomenal. If he gets, if he ever hears this podcast, I'm interested to see what he does more with his singing because yeah. his raps were dope. I mean, his song yeah. that uh, murderer was fire. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Hands down, it was dope. But that song right there, to me right now, I would probably say, out of everything that you show me, that was my favorite one. Dope. And it's not like I would jam that one in the vet going down the highway. No, yeah. like I jam murderer. Yeah. But. That song right there was my favorite one. Yeah, it spoke to you. And that's what he does well. And that's why when I do these reactions, I start with high Ren because it's just intriguing. There's so many elements to it. You're like, what is this? And then I try to show the layers of him. And I base that off of the guest. Each guest I, I, I bring in differently. But today, because me and you were so tight, I didn't have a game plan. Normally I have a game plan and it laid out. And yeah. this actually flowed. This went perfect because while we were listening to – for Joe, I was like, oh, he just has to hear this one first. People have to, he has they, to hear this. For the people that don't know me, I am the biggest hater. Like, I <laughs> swear to God, I am the biggest. He is a hater. He I will come hater. upside stage for Black P and be like, yo, what are you doing to me, dude? This stuff sucks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So for him to bring me on this and me to actually publicly go out and give credit like this speaks merit to this cat right here. And, uh, and her, too. Is her name Chinchilla? Is yeah, that what it Chinchilla. is? You know, Chinchillas are the softest animal. Like, in, yeah, it's in like the world, a, it's right? minks. Like rappers, I was like in yeah, my Chinchilla. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, but her, uh, her voice is precious. I mean, I've I, I have a lot of respect for different um, styles of music. Country is not the only lane that I that I appreciate. I appreciate all. I'll go to an opera and I do all that stuff and. I, I just don't want to like leave here without giving her her credit because she, I want to actually look into more of her. I don't know nothing about her. Absolutely know nothing about this girl, but she is very, very talented. You guys tap in, in the chat and the comments. Do you want me to bring Travis back? Do you want him to hold off on hearing any chinchilla and we just bring him back for a blind reaction? I'm here for it. Um, you guys let me know. And also, man, you want me to bring him back for some more Ren stuff that he doesn't find? Did you enjoy this? Where, where can people find you on social media? You don't really have a YouTube page? Nah, you know what? I kind of pumped the brakes on social media. I was rebranding myself. The best way for you guys to find me is TravisLeeReagan.com. Okay. And it's R-A-G-A-N. That website, it's kind of everything I do. I am super diverse in my day-to-day -day life. Entertainment is just one of the things that I do. Sure. Singing is more of a hobby. I actually manage a cat named Chez, and yep. I focus more on his career right I'm trying now. trying to get Chez to do a reaction. We'll see if he got oh, time. I'll make that happen for you. Yeah. yeah, he's dope. Chez is super dope. Actually, when I was listening to Ren, I was uh, Chez is probably one of the best singer-songwriters that I, that I know, and I know him. I know them all. I mean, I know Jelly Roll, and I know a lot of different people, but Chez is very, very talented. But when I was listening to Ren, I, I was thinking, what would those two do together? Because it, it's just, Chez is very, very, very talented. Uh, but yeah, TravisLeeReagan.com. You can check me out. It's got, it's got my socials on there. It's got the companies I'm invested in. It's got the concerts on there. Shout out to my brother, Black P. I always love doing stuff with you. This year has been a testament to our strength, bro. Before we get out of here, I just want to say, when, when people say you have good years and you have bad years, this is one of those years that most people go running with their tails tucked and they go and hide. This is true. 
But we made the most out of every bad situation. We've gone to the lake and gotten pontoon boats and hung out with family. We went to the baseball stadium last night, the same baseball stadium that we had Tech Nine at. Yep. We went there last night, got a sweet chest, sang the national anthem. We watched baseball. He took his daughter to her, her first baseball game. Um, the industry right now is under attack. Uh, the corporations do want to take out the independents like ourselves. They are completely coming for the crowns. And we're so, talking about the cons. We we're promoters throwing concerts together, and it's been really rough out here for us lately. Oh yeah, everything's super rough, you know. And so, um, it's it's a true testament to our strength as uh, individuals and as promoters to be able to say, "Hey, I know that this year right here has costed me a house, but I want to keep doing it because this is what I do." And uh, shout out to you, man, for actually diversifying yourself within the music industry. I don't know if people really appreciate or they understand what you're doing with these reactions, but you're bringing people like Ren from the UK to the ears of the listeners in the United States, and you're showing them good content in a way that intrigues the viewers and the listeners. So shout out to you for doing that. Oh yeah. yeah it's very it. impressive, man. Hell yeah. Well, you guys, um, that's it for us. We we did, we went kind of long on this one, but I know you guys will enjoy it, especially because of the premieres, the way they drop. So, um, let us know in the comments what you thought. You want me to bring Trav back? Let's go. And let's get it, you guys. Like, share, and comment on all the content. Subscribe. Forty. Thank you for being some man. Forty years down the road, back again. Forty. F U Q boy. Exactly.